Why, hello everyone and welcome back to Hollow Knight, the Dan Demiser run that's just being pretty darn nice to us, all told. Dan, how's it going? Oh, oh, I've been napping for the few weeks now. How's it going? <laughs> uh, it's going pretty good. Pretty good on the whole. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, again, not a whole lot's been going on. I mean, I guess I beat Pornet and uh, then I went down below. We've, so, just fair warning, we've not had a chance to record in like some weeks. <laughs> it's been a bit. <laughs> So apologies if we don't immediately remember everything we were just doing last episode. I think 2023 has got stuff going on. <laughs> Who would have thought? It's a little busy. But a little busy. I'm pretty sure we haven't done like a lot here other than Hornet. So. Yeah, I feel like it took a pretty direct route for the most part. Still yeah. can attack this way, though. That's oh, yep, the yep, same. Yep. Still the same. We got what do we got down and right only. We got down right and yep, yep, yep. That's it. Still just those two. Oh, I was I was looking and play friends were play friends, <laughs> play oh. friends were talking <laughs> about uh, damage scaling stuff in this game and apparently, um, like speedrunners don't upgrade the nail because when you upgrade the nail, I guess stuff actually gets health buffs interesting i thought i saw something about that too or like maybe it's just bosses that don't yeah yeah maybe maybe like that's bosses the case. scale a little bit with your damage but that way like if you don't your magic is more effective because they're not getting scaled via your that makes a lot of sense which is really cool because we thought we were being all slick and apparently <laughs> we weren't <laughs> nope that's okay though that's cool i, I enjoyed learning more about how this yeah game works Ooh, a shiny oh a spike yep 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 but we can heal and that's still good <laughs> we we that was a test <laughs> and uh you all you all you all played right into our trap <laughs> we saw it on screen <laughs> so we 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 were pretty far in advance starting to record this before the episode started coming out so we more recently uh saw episode one or two come out in which we like observed and saw exactly where the heel was, but then just <laughs> noticed. Neither of us even paid any attention to it. Yeah. We were just like, cool tree. I saw it in the edit and I was like, oh boy. Because <laughs> by the time I was editing it, we had found it and we were fine. But I saw it in the edit and I was like, oh boy, it's going to be some episodes of mm -hmm. ridicule that is deserved. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we did that. I know. It's so funny. It's fine. We got it now. We got it. Added some excitement. Mm -hmm. This is... Oh, you, we never the, even went to, like, Isma's Tears place, right? No, we still haven't done that, so there's definitely a check or two in there. Oh, wait, we need Crystal Dash for that, right? Because that's... You're right. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. And that is one of the few things we still yeah. don't have. Lots of possibility, though. We got a lot of this place. We got the arena, which is going to have some rewards for sure. We also, by the way, we might have fixed whatever was going weird with some of the uh, some of the check pickups. Maybe. We're not 100% yeah, sure. We've, we've Big Maybe changed some files around but uh, I'm we're not sure if it was an issue more with uh, the, the like the stuff that Dan made or an issue with the mods on my end and if it's the latter then we probably haven't fixed it yet yeah I went through and re <gasps> Ooh, very good that's gonna be very useful uh, I went through and made sure I didn't mess up like any uh, like what was, it, was it syntax kind of thing yeah with yeah the, yeah the, the lore tablets because we kept getting those like blank ones so yeah if it's fixed yay if not well we'll keep Karen's working on got it. a lot to talk about <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's actually in the room to hear it this time so <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay there was I, I wanted to ask you this like a week ago. Yeah. But I was like, I'm going to wait for recording because I'm, I'm curious if there's other contenders here. Ooh. So I was thinking of best video game pause music. Mm. And, and obviously Banjo is up there. Yeah, it's way up there. It's definitely what I think of first. Um, But I think I think the top two for me is either Banjo or Battletoads. Ooh, Battletoads is really good. For, for such a not good video game. Right. What, like, a incredible beat for pause music i was trying to i couldn't think of anyone else that like came close to those two do you do you have any games with like mm. good good pause music i don't think we have this no. key no uh just gonna check really good pause music i am oh oh, oh is this collector or no I is this just like leading up to collector? i think it's leading up to the collector okay. i think i need that key to actually see the collector right, themselves right, 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 right. pretty sure i think or be able to get in here. 
I think if I could get through here, I would get to the City of Tears somehow or something. Oh, there's or, the or, thing. Well, I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Mm. Or the resting grounds. That's right. Okay. We could go check those tunnels that... <laughs> That's true. ...are scary with attacking in one direction. Where am I? Oh, we're just still here, technically, I guess. Just a different part of it. But now I'm kind of curious about those tunnels. I, there's so many directions I'm curious about now. Yeah, we have a lot. And the hive should be accessible somewhere around here. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's like down the, like towards the left, right? I keep but feeling I like yes, but and I think this probably is an entrance, but you got to come from the other side mm -hmm. or something. I don't remember this area very well. I don't know yeah. why. Certainly been through it a couple times. Pause music, though. Comments, I'm sure y'all are going to be able to think of some good ones that I'll kick myself for not remembering. I, I feel like also anything like Grant Kirko is like, it's, it's just cheating bet. at that point, right? Because yeah. like Donkey Kong 64 is pause music, great. I feel like like Perfect Dark had some good, like if not pause, like menu kind of music, Ooh. like you, like Gold, your- Golden Eyes too. Yeah, yeah, Golden Eye mm -hmm. as well. Like, I feel like I remember like you're, you're in your home HQ, whatever that's called in Perfect Dark, and it's kind of got its little sort of, just sort of like a more smooth beat, but then you mm -hmm. pull up the menu and it kind of does this more dun, dun, like just doing like a more upbeat, cool sounding thing. A lot of good music from back then, man. Yeah. Every time I think of Perfect Dark, the only thing I think about is that gun that could see through walls with like the yep. infrared. The far sight. Yep. That's all I think about. Very, very overpowered. <laughs> kind of <laughs> it was, broken, but yep. fun. <laughs> it was very fun if you got it. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Miserable for everyone else. Mm -hmm. Those, those weapons always feel like... Has there been a good balance of like, hey, I can shoot through the wall or my missiles go through the wall and it's not incredibly overpowered? It's but hard to like think it's... of something. I feel like modern games are polished and balanced well enough that like you wouldn't see that kind of nonsense anymore. Yeah. He's the violence master. <laughs> the violence master. Oh, hey, Oro. You're good at it, huh? How did you find me down here where the world ends? Yes, I know why you're here. You came to learn a nail art from the legendary Nail Master Oro. It's the law of the great nail sage I must pass down my teachings to those who are worthy. But no law forbids me from exacting a payment for my time. If you truly wish to train under me, prove it with Geo. How much, though, are we? Ooh. Hey, a simple key. You know, that's actually a pretty good deal. I'll take it. Nice. That, I think that's our third key. It's it's at least our second. Because we, we went waterways and we talked to Gigi. Yeah, no, so this is our third one, yeah. I must say, you're an excellent pupil. Your skill with your nails, your thirst to become stronger. You remind me of my brothers. I've taught you all I can. Go back into the world, traveler. Leave me to my solitude. <laughs> Here's this key. I've taught you everything. You know. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense, but thank you. It's a it's a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're not ready, clearly. <laughs> Are you it. Sora? <laughs> <laughs> we are in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> it is Kingdom Hearts! He gave us a key in he Kingdom gave us Hearts. A key oh my everything. gosh. As wisdom. It's all coming together. Yeah, man. Ooh, was that? That's oh. definitely something we're going to be investigating in a minute. After I get just a little bit of 30 G. Heck yeah. Woo! There's I something about the, the, the sound of Geo that I feel like it would be really nice to like actually have Ooh. Geo coins. Oh, yeah, know? for sure. Absolutely. Like a, like, a, like a dice bag full of Geo. Yeah, yeah. Like th those tabletop and board games that have like the little bits and pieces that just feel really yeah. satisfying to hold in your hands. Like, oh man, this feels, the feel of this is great. That Geo would definitely be in that category. Have you ever played the uh, board game, uh, it's, I think it's Dice Forge? I don't think I have, no. It's one of those where it's got like a whole bunch of little tiny gizmos, but it's neat because you you make like a, a D6 and you like change the faces of the D6 depending Ooh. on like what you purchase and buy. But it's got a bunch of those like really feel good little like see-through like gem, fake gem kind of stuff. Ooh. I, don't know, I, love, I, love, I love a good board game. Yeah. There's something really nice about the just tactileness of it. Yeah. One of my buddies, like, his... Oh, no. His favorite, like, weird obsession is board games with good, um, like, internal layout, you know? Like, how mm. organized they are when you pack oh, them away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that... I do love that and appreciate it. Right? Because it's so nice when they do it well. If they because if they've not figured out how to do it, I sure am not. <laughs> it's gonna be a bunch of ziplocks and maybe like <laughs> ziplocks if you're lucky. Maybe it closes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, this feels promising. Ooh. I'm amazed how little of this I remember. I same. Especially Kingdom's Edge. Yeah. Every time I'm like, there's there's a path here, and it's maybe it's just because it's like very similar looking corridors. I think so. Like that's a thing that is true of most. If you go into any given area of Hollow Knight, most of it does look pretty samey across the board. But like, it doesn't bother you in the like vanilla game because you've got a map, and the map is kind of what mm -hmm. is the tool you need. If you're just having to go by sight, you really do have to do a little bit of memorization. That was a lot of stuff I just was. zoomed right past. Ooh, shell shiny. That's, uh, I think, Balder Shell, the oh. defense when healing, right, I think? Is this a tree? Oh, what is that, actually? What is this I'm seeing? We've, we saw another one of these early on, too, that like showed us something up like this, but I didn't... Does pressing up by it do anything? Uh, huh. no? Hmm. Curious. Weird. We'll keep an eye out. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Was that? Uh, there's huh. more down there. I just yeah. keep, keep on having a look. Maybe, maybe is there like someone who shows up there? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> that guy's not gonna be in Hall Night too. <laughs> Poor little bug. <laughs> All right. Place your. And this is such a huge mistake because we're recording mm -hmm. these in advance. Mm -hmm. Place your bets, Dan. If. If Silk Song is coming out in 2023, as we hope, um, when what part of the year do you expect it to drop? And again, just by saying this and bringing it up, mm -hmm. we guarantee that the release date will be announced. But in that case, you're welcome, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm 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 willing to poke that bear. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say. Oh no, it can't be May because that that's that's bad for that's me. Ba that's, <laughs> It's bad for everyone. Yeah. Um, no one wins there. Don't make me choose. There, Grebbles. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm thinking sooner than later. I'm gonna say, uh, like, like, beginning April. Oh, wow. Imagine. I'm, feel, I'm feeling like quarter one. I'd be down for that. I'll, all right, I'll. <laughs> I could prices right you and say. <laughs> <laughs> March 30th. <laughs> but no, I'll, I'll push it later in the year. Like, given. We still haven't gotten any, we're still just getting little teases and stuff, mm -hmm. just corporate level teases mostly. I'll say, I'll say like October or something. Yeah. No, September, September. September was my other, was, was like my other instinct. I don't know why. Yeah, me either. But yeah, September is my guess. Yeah. I can't wait. Like, do you, do you think something else big is going to do the like, oh, hey, Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out. Let's put our release right next to it. Like, oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Like I fear for the game, or Breath of the Wild, or like uh, Breath of the Wild Two, Tears of the Kingdom is going to have to have like kind of a last minute delay that just kind of bumps it back a couple of months, and mm -hmm. that is going to ruin somebody's yeah. day. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, good, we were all clear from Every, Tears yeah, of the Kingdom, and, nice and smooth, and then yep, <laughs> the bus with the license plate, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> 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 it, it, it's it's weird because. It's starting to feel like how I felt with Elden Ring, where I'm like, I won't believe it's out until I have it, like, in yeah. my hands. Yeah. That's a good... <laughs> that's yeah, a good a, place to keep your head in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely... E even, I've noticed when, like, when, when like uh, the new rumor has come out, you know, like... Mm -hmm. Ooh, did you hear about the the release date for this game that hasn't been announced anywhere yet? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um I feel like just being like, that's cool. I'll wait till I have it is a yep. is a nice way to deal with that, because That's kind of the one thing that's nice about not having enough time to play even all the games <laughs> that you want to. Yep. It's sort of like a you're not you'll be fine until that maybe happens. <laughs> like I already have so many games that I've not had a chance to get to yet and I very much very much hope that yes Silk Song is coming out this year either the month you said or the one I did but if it <laughs> I was really sure it was going to work that time I, I was going to say heal but I'm like it's got this <laughs> this time you know <laughs> we're warming up 
We're warming up. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. It, it is... It is nice getting a, a little, like, gap between big releases, though, of like, Oh, I, I can actually dip in something I've wanted to been playing, like, on my backlog, and it's not, like, the hot new thing, you know? Absolutely. I'm often grateful for that. Like, if there's one, I guess, silver lining to there just being fewer, like, big AAA games that come out any given year. Mm hmm Hey, little guy. We need to get reacquainted quick, like. If you don't mind. Hang on. Back off. Oh, boy. Our favorite. Let's see you try to come through here and not hit those spikes. I dare you. Come on. Oh, oh you're he's a trying. coward is what he is. Wimp. Well, I can't attack you through. Okay, well, I can zip through. That's fine. Let me let my... I'll be extra careful. Let my honey health get all... There we go. Oh, okay, oh. now we're back in business. Solidified. Oh, okay. Get in the spikes. Get in the spikes. Get in the... You're not going to. Whatever. It's fine. Hey, little buddy. Could you not? <laughs> Big guy. He's like, I'm here to annoy you. That worked. That worked. Yeah, come on, man. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, now there's oh. stakes. I just can't get over that. <laughs> get over it, Bug Knight. You can do it. There we go. Hey, you Ooh. did it, Bennett Foddy. <laughs> <laughs> What is it about honey that makes anything better? I don't know, but it's kind of true. I guess the sweetness, I suppose. It's just That's... like, it's so... Because I don't feel that way about sugar. That's true. Is can you have? Is it possible to over honey something? You could definitely over like sugar something. Maybe if it's like, like a totally not honey adjacent thing, you know, like... I'm trying to think of a food, but I, <laughs> I really just like honey. A rough spot. Like I, okay. Like I dipped my ah. Reuben sandwich in honey. That was too much honey. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be a little too much honey. Maybe too in much. that context. Have you ever had pickles and peanut butter? I've had people trying to convince me to have that. I it's been popping up again lately for me. <laughs> Maybe the same person. <laughs> po very possibly <laughs> yes, actually. Given how much overlap there is between our communities, mm. yes. Not a fan. <laughs> so you actually did it. I did it because there's a, a friend in our, our my stream community that swears by it. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna I'm going and getting pickles, and I, I I had it, and it just like the pickle overpowers the peanut butter a hundred percent. That's what I would expect. And then it just becomes like pickle paste. Hmm. Which is like, Not if it was something, like, I feel like the crunch of the pickle is the appeal of the pickle, at I least for me. I fully agree. Yes. A hundred percent. So then it's just like, let me take out the good aspects of both of these things. <laughs> and now, yum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely am not feeling further inclined to try. Yeah. I'm very much like, I will try it. I will try. I, if, if someone's like, hey, you got to try this, I will try it. Because it drives me insane when I recommend something to someone and they're like, no. <laughs> just won't even give it a chance. Yeah. And I get it. You know, you can you can order your chicken nuggets at every single restaurant you go to. That's fine. <laughs> Enjoy. I hope you love your chicken tenders. Because <laughs> you know what? They're doing right by <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, yeah, they didn't have to try eating peanut butter and pickles, so like, <laughs> it's serving them kind of well in that particular case. But it's the the thing that always blows my mind about when I think about that kind of stuff is like, what if someone's like, hey, you you gotta try, you know, <laughs> sauerkraut and milk. It's delicious, man. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll be like, I don't think so. But what if I try it and it's my new favorite thing? That's true, because there is always the possibility that you don't you know what your favorite thing is yet. Exactly. It could be such a weird combination of, of flavors and you know textures that just meshes up perfect. Well, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Big guy, big wallet. Yeah. Because you're like, worst case, something tastes bad for a little bit. And yeah. then it stops. Exactly. Bad. You're like, oh, that was gross. I can go have any other food I like. Yeah. 
I can fix this. I'll have some honey. <laughs> nah. Bees. I'm dealing with enough. Just trying to get through the space here. <laughs> but they're so cute, man. They're really cute bees. Like, I don't like, like, real bees, not a fan. These bees, pretty good. If, if real bees were, like, they, they looked almost just like that and were the size of, like, a volleyball, <laughs> I would own a bee in a heartbeat. <laughs> a heartbeat. <laughs> Uh, if they look like this, I would be tempted. Right? Adorable. Really cute. Think of her flies. <laughs> Still on a little leash, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that does sound pretty cute. I, f I feel like I've seen this somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that hallway. Where they're like, oh, it's safe. It works a lot better when you can attack to the left. Mm-hmm. Someday. Someday. Yeah, that that is one thing, like, if we do finish this seed, we, we need to look up where left and up are <laughs> if we never find them. Yeah. Because up until this point, I've been very certain. Like, all right, well, we'll find it. It's mm -hmm. just, I know, it's been going a long time, but we'll, we'll find it. We'll find it. I am starting to have doubts. It's been a bit. We could... Uh, we, I think we could just go straight up because is that that's Colosseum or is it like kind of Colosseum's a good bit further up I think we're near the bottom of like I feel like we're down here yeah 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 we're down on this bottom long floor mm -hmm. here now but we've there's definitely a lot of up we've not yeah, explored okay, yet okay. so yeah let's start let's start heading up see what we find the fact that we were seeing a lot of little bees makes me think that probably one of the entrances was to the hive was near there and I just forget exactly where yeah because there is there is one entrance but it's like it's only a really small segment of the hive. And then I remember you break a wall from within the hive, and it was that room you were just mm. in. I think. I think I've been up here. Yeah. Looks like a mushroom. It has been just long enough. Like, I've not played a full, complete playthrough of Hollow Knight literally since the, I think, 2019 playthrough. So it's been some years. Oh, yeah. And so I, especially this kind of back half of the game, I have very hazy memories of. Yep. And the There's lack of map a... does not help. Well, lack of knowing where I am on that map. <laughs> One thing I, I've... I think I've always known why I love randomizers with it, but just the the totally new approach of... Especially if you do unique checks and kind of stuff, you know, like how we have the, the geocaches and yeah. the, the lore tablets and stuff, is you start to learn, like routing that has no impact on like the base game at all yeah it's it's totally own thing i i like that little like pool of knowledge it does give you cause to learn more about the game like and all the places that you would have seen as unimportant right have the potential to become important and Maybe there's something that you have to find. At, like, you were mentioning some air part of the game you'd never found before until doing randomizers to some location because, like, it turns out that's where some really important check ended up yeah. being this time. It's like, uh, like, remember when we did Link to the Past and there's that one cave and it has, like, six chests and they're all, like, rupees or whatever? But now <laughs> it's, like, the best place like, in the game. Like, what an amazing cave. Yeah. yeah. I love that kind of stuff. Absolutely. And, and... It, I honestly am not Hello. as familiar with Hollow Knight. Oh, a drivel. Oh, I'm tiny thing. You climb high. You seek the knowledge of these lands. Yeah, this ashen place is grave of worm. Once told, it came to die. But what is death for that ancient being? More transformation, methinks. This failed kingdom is product of the being spawned from that event. Is his name always Bardoon? I don't remember I that. don't remember either. <laughs> I don't think I put something as Bardoon. <laughs> it's probably their name. Probably. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's my guess. What if... I don't think you give anything if you talk to you enough. What if they do a Metal Gear Solid 2 when uh, Silk Song comes out and instead of Hornet, you play as Bardoon? <laughs> <laughs> I would be totally down for a I curveball. Would. Like, anything they want to do, they have my complete yeah, trust. I'm ready. I forgot you did... This one did have a lot to say. He's so talkative. What are you thinking? And so, <laughs> it's kind of what I figured, but we yeah. had to check, didn't we? Had to check. 
Who knows? There might be one that's different in the entire game. <laughs> Inside one of them is the hidden cheat sheet key that tells exactly. you where everything is. Yep. <laughs> it's just the spoiler log, like dot txt. <laughs> that would be amazing. having a good sleep oh yeah i could not wake up this morning oh yeah it was one of those like you just set the alarm for like 10 minutes later and yep. you do it and then spend like an hour and a half and you're like i've been sleeping 10 minutes for an hour and a half yeah it's extremely that time of year where it's all nice and cold out and being under covers is extra comfy yep and you can wear nice like heavier blankets which is the best so one of the, one of the things I got for Christmas was I got I got a new bed sheet set and I got like oh. a, a duvet cover and like all, all new nice and then I got um, a new heated blanket so I've got like heated blanket you know fitted sheet and then like duvet cover or not fit sheets on the bottom <laughs> so you're set <laughs> but it's like oh it's heaven when I'm in bed sounds like so nice. Very hard, very hard to get out of bed when it's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Do you ever leave bed like in the middle of the night, like to go to the bathroom or get water or something like that, just to have the experience of going back into bed and it's nice and warm? <laughs> Not just for that experience, but that is definitely a very joyful feeling. Oh, I feel like we could probably all relate to. I love it. It's the best. Yep. There's more in here. Where is it? More shinies. So, like, this is a room I don't remember at all. Like, I know we're making our way up to the... Well, like, we're really close to the Colosseum stuff now. Oh, okay, 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 yep. In fact, right. let me walk over to this side, because I think I need... Yep. That I remember. That's... that's yeah, that's easy. Gotta break that so you can do it from the other side, and then... Stop yelling. Yeah, because we came in this way, and we were like, oh, yeah, we had to break it. Yep, 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 yep. All right. I wonder if Emmons is still looking after a little dive bomb, little children spawn. <laughs> He's still having a thought. Tiny Tinkus. <laughs> Aha! Another warrior finds their way to our fair Colosseum. Ours is the final destination for all seeking trials of intense and deadly combat. All one has to do is place their mark upon their trial board of choice, and lo, the arena's gate will open. There's a small fee attached to each trial, but I'm sure as a skilled and combatant as yourself will have accrued a wealth of Geo. Now, before you tr draw your nail and rush eagerly into etc., there's a warrior's pits, and have no doubt that to enter a trial, etc. Okay. Bear, seek, seek. <laughs> trial of the warrior. Fight for rancid egg and Geo. I, you know what, I... <laughs> I, it's a rancid egg, Dan. It's a rancid egg and Geo. What do we got here, though? Uh, 15 Geo and wow. Geo. Hmm. Rough. Please don't be good. Uh, for the glory of being a fool. Play and some Geo. And Geo. So I think uh, they're That's, all None of dead. these seem good yeah. for me. But there will be, like, goodies There's goodies around. around. There will be goodies down. Like, there's a... Uh, nothing in here, but there is... On the other side, there's, like, a... There's a check somewhere. Oh yeah, because that's the isn't that where the little guy who steals your stuff or whatever? It's like, like a little hot. Oh yeah, and there's that too. I forgot all about that part. How's it going over here? Sammy. Pale one, you found it too. Then this perfect place. I'll soon be entering the battle. Just taking a moment to rest first. Though if you could truly challenge me, I'm hoping this arena presents the sort of brutal challenge I'm after. Oh, it does, bud. Good luck to you. Uh, he's got it for <laughs> sure. <laughs> he's got this. Hello. It's higher up. Yeah, we're on this side. There it is. <laughs> Brittany is napping right now. And, uh, you know, like, dreams. sometimes cats, like, sort of, like, twitch a little bit in their sleep. She actually just sort of, like, had her paw actually sort of just, like, batting at the air at nothing. Whatever dream she's having. Playing She's probably with, having some good fun. dream kitty toys. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is something. Not really. Something. It is something, though. We found it. <laughs> Glad I can swim now. Yeah. That's <laughs> a really big upgrade that you'd, you don't appreciate till it's gone. No one tells you you're not going to have it until it's, it's gone. I wonder how fighting this thing is going to be without Left certain attack. directional attacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I'm sure he'll never show up on the left. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. I've got limited magic as well, because I can only... Ow. Attack the little guy so many times. I think you might get recharged from his attacking the little things. I hope so. Looks like I was wrong. <laughs> I was really hoping you were right, though. Ooh, nice. Yep. Ow. Don't. Mm. Where'd you he's go? Having a, he's having a little tantrum. Mm-hmm. He's pretty cute. He is very. I like his, his little bug voice. Yeah. Really good bug voices in this. Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm curious if at some point in development they were like, all right, what if we have like really realistic like little bug chitters and like <laughs> <laughs> really unsettling? Yeah. They saved all that for just deep nest and stuff just to make it feel actually buggy and uncomfortable. Yeah, that's that's true. And the rest is like, oh, but oh, but. <laughs> just <laughs> cute <laughs> simlish. <laughs> Ow. Dang. Stop it. There. <laughs> <laughs> he turned into a bug. It was me all along. Well, there's that. Oh shoot, I'm drawing a blank on the name. Of what? What's the what's the short story the guy turns into a bug? <laughs> Frank Frank The, the fly? <laughs> no, not the fly. It's uh, the <laughs> Hang on, I'm I'm looking it up. Comments. I'm I know very everyone's now. already Short story of a guy turning into a bug. Franz Kafka. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say he had a real Franz Kafka situation. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't remember the name. Everyone, uh, edit that part out, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend that what we just said Pretend was it, clever and we thought of it really quickly. nailed the, the delivery yeah. of that joke. <laughs> Here, here, hang on, here's a good one. Okay, clean take. He's having a real Franz Kafka situation. <laughs> <laughs> Clever and literary. <laughs> that reference. Uh, stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The arena had less than I hoped. What do we, where do we want to go now? Hmm. Let's... Remember what's on this. I don't think I can get it into my apartment just by well, maybe I can. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Nice. But I might, yeah, I might just dream warp myself back to Yeah, because that's resting grounds, I think. Let's go see what's in the in the uh the dock below. Uh the store now. Like we gotta oh, we gotta yeah, yeah, yeah. more things in a shop. We got, we got Sly's key. Maybe Sly has everything. I hope he I hope he has everything. I hope he's everything. Oh wait, uh, talk to him real quick. Hold up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he updated a few things, did you? <laughs> Maybe a few <laughs> The last unicorn, I mean stag. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> what a delightful thing you've made. <laughs> this is really fun. This is, this is dumb. But you know what? <laughs> Have fun. I love it. Having a grand time. I'm glad everyone else is too. Yeah. It's, it's I had a feeling, but still. Very much tickled me. Oh hey! You're back! You made it. Hanging out in Majula from the best Dark Souls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all shy. Oh. <laughs> Bug shy. Very cute. Can't talk to you though. Okay. Sly. You know what you know what they <laughs> No, that's a dumb joke. <laughs> I was gonna say, you know what they call a bug when they get shy? What's that? Uh, flutter shy. But that's a pony. <laughs> it is a pony. <laughs> so my joke didn't really work. <laughs> it's okay. You can't. Because my, like my brain was like, flutter shy is definitely a character. And then as soon as I started saying it, I remembered it was a pony. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <sighs> but I did start talking. <laughs> I did start talking. I am committed. 
<laughs> what do you have there? That's the key to my storeroom. I thought I'd lost it for good. Hmm. Did you find it in those old mines, perhaps? Very curious. I have no idea how it ended up in such a remote place. Very honest of you to return it to me. Yes, very kind. Now that I can open my store, old storeroom up, I can sell you some of the rare stock and gathering dust in there. These items, etc. Thank you. You got a grub still, which is still a little weird. And some masks and lore. And good deal. Ooh, good deal. Good deal. Good deal. <laughs> sure. Ooh, what is that? What is that? It's a moon tier swim. for Majora's Mask. <laughs> Oh, it's it's another swim. It's another chat. swim, yeah. I may not look like it, but I'm actually a fully certified swimming instructor. <laughs> One easy payment, I toss you in the deep end, and yeah, you'll figure it out from there. That's great. That I didn't randomize that text. That's great. That's very good. <laughs> uh fire sale indeed. Go ahead and pick up your rebate already. <laughs> All geo must go. Yeah, clearly. Wow. And also another monarch. Well, this is the one that I think you were selling before. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. All right. And some more essence, which I don't not it's twenty think I need. Yeah. I think it's we not a lot of it. Got all the important stuff we wanted. I think we did, yeah. Thanks for all the free money though. And <laughs> also oh. the fun sound. And a grub. Love a grub. Love a grub. And okay. It only changes his stock, right? I think so. We can triple check. We're right here. here. Hello. Bafanada. Whoa. Whoa that, that was doubled up that there. Was doubled up, Bafanada. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, double the Bafa. <laughs> double the Nada. <laughs> uh, do I want... Yeah, some of these would actually be pretty convenient now. Uh, I'll grab... This might also be helpful. Why not? Sure. We got we got Geo burning a hole in our pocket. It's true. You can't take it with you. It's true. Or you can try. You can fight yourself to try to take it back with you, but you only get one <laughs> shot at that. So, just like real life. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Bafanada. <sighs> oh, that's, okay. That was All right, interesting. <laughs> that was a weird little bug. Yeah. We checked Preda's house. Yeah. We should check again because there's something. The white savior, the maiden woke in darkness. Confused, she reached out. Sharp brambles jabbed at all, at all sides. Burning acid bubbled close below. What nightmare had led her here? What hope of survival remained? Doomed, she thought, her, uh, uh, she thought herself, and to despair she fell, until a light bloomed far in the distance, a bright, glowing spot fast approaching. It swept majestic about the thorns, leapt above burning waters, and dove towards the maiden. Coming close, the form revealed at last a beautiful being, sharp horns gleaming white. Arms reached out for the damsel, gathering her up, grip firm. <laughs> <laughs> Pondering what to gift her savior, savior, the damsel thought of the precious lore under her room. Ooh, the lore <laughs> under her room. The lore under her room. Though difficult to part with, she had nothing better with which to thank them. Also, some money grew out of her. Yeah, some money, that too. <laughs> That's funny, it changed that one line. <laughs> that was pretty good. We have a lot of eggs we can turn in. I don't remember if there's anything good left to get, but we can check. Oh, yeah. And also we can try, ooh, yeah, before even, let's walk back out and, will you talk now that I have eggs? Or wake up? Or anything? Hey. I'm guessing it's just. <laughs> You're just here. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Maybe if I had started a steel soul run yeah. in this randomizer, that would have worked. Maybe, maybe it's like they both have the same inventory. That just might depends be. on which mode you're playing. That would actually make a lot of sense. Uh, Geo, Sprint Shiny, got that. Uh, a lot of, a lot of Geo, Geo, basically. A lot of Geo. And I don't have anything else to do with them, so sure. Yeah, might as well. Definitely one of my favorite bug voices here. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so precious. Thanks for the spare change. I don't know if I ever noticed uh, her eyes. Just back there. Yeah, just back there. Just sort of watching. <laughs> just watching. Good bug. A plus bug. I think it's Fog Canyon time. That's some bug. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember the movie where the 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 bug on the farm had the pig that made a <laughs> a web that said? Darn. I don't remember what happened in that book. <laughs> 
it's been a while. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think it's Grunt. Yes, yeah, Grunty Station. That's the one. Oh, we're doing Fog Canyon? I think it's Fog Canyon fog time. Fog Canyon. We're ready. Because, like, what are the other contenders at this point? It's Ancient Basin. We can try to go to that spot with, uh... No, we can't go to the Eastmas Tier thing because of the Crystal Dash. Ooh, talk to the tall bug again. Oh, yeah, let's do. Uh, what? Which? I think it's the one below. I think you're right. Hello. Tall bug. <laughs> This place must once have been quite the hub belt at the border between two lands. That misty drop to one side and those bulbous growths another. Neither place seems particularly welcoming, so while my little treats last, I think I'll stay right here. Well, I couldn't remember if I changed something. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're up here too, so. Mm, delicious. delicious. Tall bug. Mushrooms are delicious. I feel like... What's your favorite kind of mushroom? I don't, because I don't feel like I have one. Uh, I think just like, like what, like button caps, kind of? Yeah. Bubbleville. <laughs> Bubbleville. <laughs> I don't think we saw that before. <laughs> I like it. Um, like shiitake is good. I think I just like a, a, a nice small little, little simple mushroom. Yeah. I also hated mushrooms most of my life until I started cooking with them. Ooh. I bet that would make a difference for me too. Because I think I had like a, a expectation of mushroom through most of my life yeah. that I did not like. And to be fair, I think most of the mushrooms I had were not either cooked well or my cup of tea. Right. But if you're preparing it, you can yeah. you can try to like make it to your liking. Like legit, one of my favorite things now is just like like a bake a tray of of like diced up mushrooms with like a little oil, salt and pepper, bake them for, you know, like 20, 30 minutes or whatever. Ooh. And it's just, just, just a little bit of crunch and it, oh man. And basically any veggie though, you do that with and it's amazing. Yeah, I, like I'm in for that pretty much. That sounds like so good. Delicious. I've been, I've been buying a bunch of uh, zucchini lately and just like throwing mm. it in and everything. Cause man, it's so good. It's like sauteed like zucchini. Or, or baked, mm. so good. Mm. Mouth's watering <laughs> about this plant. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me want to eat and cook weirdly. Because <laughs> I don't really... Cooking is one of the things that I know I would very much enjoy learning, mm -hmm. but I just don't have... I have committed all the time. I, yeah. I'm out of time to commit to... Just about anything. I got no more time left. It's, yeah, it's like I'm tapped out. So there you are. Hey. Oh, hey, I couldn't see you there because of all this dang mist fucking up my little bug glasses. <laughs> Anyways, want to buy a check. That's very cute. Still, still working on I think understanding. I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working on it. We got it. 15 and 15, two of the same numbers. <laughs> it's very similar. <laughs> uh. Keep working on it, buddy. That's a mistake. <laughs> Aww, it's so satisfying, though, when you can, like, avoid it. Yep. It's very fun. It feels great to do, and I rarely achieve it. Same. Here's a fun idea. Like, you and I both, like, watch a fair amount of YouTube or and, and or Twitch mm -hmm. stuff around. Are there any particular, like... Uh, creators or channels or anything that you're just sort of like way into these days like a recent discovery or something that you're, uh, uh, that you're a fan of um uh a streamer i kind of been like watching as i like have breakfast a lot these days yeah. is um uh barbarous king barbarous king he i think he got known like like popular from making a kaizo rom hack like Ooh. back in the day and he, he's actually been like working on another one, but like he's just a fun entertainer. And he streams like, I think he's like East Coast. So like when I wake up is like midway through his stream. So it's like perfect. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Put something on. Nice. Uh, I've been watching them a lot. Um, uh, who else have I been watching? 
Uh, you, usually I just like default to like the friends channels and as I'm just doing something in the background. That's what I would do as well, generally. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I sure, I'm sure I have a answers for this and I can't think of anything right now. I did put you on the spot a yeah. little bit. Do you, do you have any? I feel like I'm always finding, this is not a good spot to be in. <laughs> I feel like I am always finding, uh, Nice. Like, like a dozen YouTube channels a year, it feels like. Yeah. They're just like some clever or brilliant thing, or like a kind of content I'd have never thought of. I feel like the creator I found like in the last year or so who I'm most obsessed with is CJ the X. Uh, did, did we watch I might something have, of them? I might I have sent last you, time it was over. I might have sent you something of theirs at one point. Like, um, like, they are, they are like a force of nature as a entertainer, presenter, way too sharp and smart for their age. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't, like, if you want an easy entry point that's not super long, like some, some of their stuff can be sort of hours long, mm -hmm. like funny and really entertainingly presented. Uh, their, like, camera presence is unreal. But, like, uh, I think like critically analyzing memes or critically over analyzing okay, memes yeah, yeah, yeah. is a real easy entry point of just like this is just funny and light. Yeah, you you sent me I don't remember what it was, but I remember that pitch. <laughs> yeah. And uh yeah, like oftentimes they tell Yauch. They talk about like more heavy like they talk about art and a lot more philosophical type things. Mm -hmm. Still very funnily, but like uh but that's one that's just very light and breezy and a good time. I recommend. Yeah. I have recently, like, after not watching, like, uh, Babish for, like, a while, Ooh, yeah. I dove back in, like, this week. It, pretty much exclusively the the botched by Babish, the one where <laughs> he's just off the rails. It's so fun. Those are really fun. Yeah, I, yeah, those are usually are, like, sort of, like, there's some channels that I'll just, like, sort of throw on as an evening cool down. Yep. We're going to go to bed soon. Uh, I just want to start. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> winding down and... Babish is very good for that. Hey, being here reminds me, um, like literally oh, less than 48 hours <laughs> after we released the episode where we first came in here, I think it's episode two, where we first encountered the Click Clock Woods, um, somebody sent me a file of a cover of Click Clock Woods using, <laughs> well, sort of like with the sound and style of um, Hollow Knight. So I'm just going to, turn the game music down while we're in here and Carrie if you don't mind just kind of throwing that on and I'm going to throw I'll credit them by name on screen as well because I, I don't remember off the top of my head right now but uh this is their work and again they turned this around shockingly fast yeah. you sent me that message and I was like what <laughs> and they have the honor like we've had fan art like made of our stuff before which I always love I save literally every like bit of fan art anyone ever sends me because I just adore it uh, but that's definitely the first bit of fan music remix composition that I think we've ever had for something we've made so like so congrats cool. you were the first you did it <laughs> <laughs> very very surreal of yep. like hey here's this dumb reference we made and someone made something really cool out of it. <laughs> yeah all right it is too dark in It here. is dark. Still. Still no lantern. No lantern. Why is it lanterns both times, I, Dan? I... It is. We have a thing for it. I thought we had the lantern because it was kind of bright here, and I was like, oh, did we get that and I forgot? <laughs> what wishful thinking. Mm-hmm. What a fool. <laughs> um... Yeah, no. What, yo, what, what's your... Where are you, where you aiming for now? I'm trying to think, because I kind of wandered a little bit off the path. I was hoping that there was some more of this area, like, kind of down here that maybe I'd not explored, but mm -hmm. I do definitely remember going into there and thinking, nope, dark, and backing out. So, no, we've been here. Uh, so let's let's just go and see, uh, go and fight uh, Umu and see what we get oh, for yeah, it. Oh, yeah, Umu. We can do that fight, probably. I'm sure we can do that. We beat I mean, we, we can do it. We had three Dans in that fight. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of Dans at once in that one room. All I'm thinking of is there is that one room where it's a bunch of those bubbles with the explosions in them. Yeah. Navigating, because I think there's like three or four checks in that room. Oh, you're right, isn't it? But I don't remember where it is. I just remember hating it. Yeah. Let's find it. That'll be fun for us. Yeah. Quality entertainment. Maybe it'll be in here. 
Ooh, it's a new room at least. New room. New room. Those thorns remind me of the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Every single time but, I play Hollow Knight, I think of the Miami Dolphins. So, elaborate. <laughs> it's the, the teal and orange are their color palette That's for fair. their team. That's it's just, it's, I feel like I so rarely see those exact kind of like shades of color together. <laughs> This is Miami Dolphins. I'll give you that. All right. <laughs> it was also like growing up my like parents' favorite team, so. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely a memorable color palette. No, that that makes sense. Is that the way to Umu, or is it? That is um, not. No, that was that was taking to, me to Queen's. Uh, well, like Grunty's trader, Garden. Right? Yeah, yeah. New area that's a little scary but yeah, doable. A little, spicy. but we we got stuff we can do here still. In Bubbleville, Bubbleville. which is really cute sounding, right? This feels like I'm trying to figure, figure out which Nintendo franchise you would go to Bubbleville in. Bubbleville feels like a. It's like it's not quite Pokemon. Pokemon feels like they do more clever wordplay, don't they? I, like I was thinking Pokemon. This feels like. What if it was like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? <laughs> okay, maybe maybe something like that. Yeah, like like a Mario village or something like a, a Mario Odyssey world or something you'd go down into Bubbleville. Yeah. Oh, bu Bubble Bubbleine is the name. Oh, of okay, that's why I'm thinking of it. <laughs> the, the totally legit banker. <laughs> oh, there, dearie. I was about to close up shop and run until you came along. I provide a banking service if you're interested. Losing one geo is a terrible thing and it's so much more likely if you carry it all about on yourself. My vault is much more secure. In all my time as a banker, I've never lost a single geo. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'd consider opening an account. Maybe I would. I don't know if you get it <laughs> get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot. <laughs> I like it. Yes. I don't remember if you actually get a check from any of this. I don't think so. But. I think, yeah, I think it's just more money. But hey. The Geo. You're a smart one. Next time some dreadful beast gets the best of you, you'll be glad to know your Geo safe within my shed. Vault. Let's do some banking. <laughs> Maybe later. I think the bit of the bank falling over <laughs> is like one of my favorite, like, little comedy moments in this game. It's an extremely good so visual good. gag. Because <laughs> it, it's so, like, I feel like there's very few purely, like, gag bits in the game that when, like, a little one like that sneaks in, it's all the all the more rewarding. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, like, this game doesn't go for laughs very much. Yeah. And the laughs it does go for are, like, sort of weird, dry, silly things that, like... Like the bench popping out and unfolding, I don't really know exactly why that's funny. It's so yeah. It's, it makes me giggle every time though. It's one of those things of like, if if the bank thing fell over in like a portal game, you'd be like, eh, that was, that was a pretty good bit. <laughs> but in this, it's I don't know, it shines. Yeah, I guess the game doing anything funny at all is a surprise. Like in Portal, you're getting hit by comedy left and right, yeah. so you're there you're expecting it. it. <laughs> also, how was that? I I, I saw. You're, uh, you played every single game last year, so every single game. It was a, it was an endeavor. How how was that uh, the tech demo? Because I kept meaning to look into it and oh, after your um, desk job. Yeah, I highly recommend. It's so short. Like you'll get through it in like less than an hour, maybe just oh, thirty okay. minutes. It's it's very short, but highly recommend. Because yeah, it's like it's just it's very funny. <laughs> They're very good at making very right? funny things, man. And it's it makes you miss that world though. <laughs> it's weird because I. When I think back on Portal 2 releasing, it's such a like distinct memory of hanging out with... I want to say I was hanging out with high school friends and we went just went and saw a movie. And I remember after the movie saying like, I think we saw like a comedy and I was like, hey, you guys should play Portal 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's way funnier than this movie. Like, I don't know. It's such a distinct... I was shocked coming back to like, as we've replayed Portal 2 on the channel at one point, and like, mm -hmm. I knew Portal was funny. I had forgotten how funny Portal 2 is and remains. Portal 2 is yeah. one of the funniest games that's ever been made. I'm still shocked at how good it is. I haven't, I haven't done base game in a long while. I, yeah. I did, I did co-op like maybe two years ago at this point, but so fun. All Portal stuff has just been so good. I hope they eventually get around to just anything more just they do more. with Portal. Yeah, <laughs> just more would be great. <laughs> just more. At some point, when they're feeling it. They did just do like the... 
Was that was that a fan thing or hmm. a real thing where they did like the 4K update to Portal? Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's like a there's a ray tracing update to uh, uh, that, yeah that's yeah cool. to uh, Portal that came out. I, I don't know if that's like an official thing or something. They saw that they were like, that's great. We're just making it official. It's up now. Yeah, I could never tell, especially with like old properties these days of like yeah, were they working on this or did they just back it like? <laughs> In either case, great. <laughs> I don't remember what was in here. I don't Fights, know if I we've guess. been here. Did we? Yeah, I don't think we've been in here yet. So something new. If the if the door closes, okay. there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are gonna need to be a whole lot stronger than this. Mm-hmm. Team. Well, they tried. Are y'all sick of the uh, Click Clock Woods thing yet? <laughs> Should I turn that off? <laughs> we haven't really been in the Click Clock Woods for a little bit. We did kind of double back. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll switch back. <laughs> right. Also, thank you again. Yeah, that was thank amazing. you again. That was incredible. What an honor and delight. There's so, so many, like, little, like, offhand things we've said and people make something like the grunty stuff yeah and oh man so many cool moments it's, it's incredibly like delightful but just also just so it's one of the most flattering things you can encounter is just someone like making something based on something you've made is <laughs> anytime oh. i see fan art it delights me <laughs> huh. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna uh, give give little shout outs because they also uh helped you out recently uh bryce and robot they yeah. did the the final fantasy 5 stuff yes 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 one of the one of the folks I, in a stream, uh, so, sometimes when you stream frequently and it's like, oh, I want to stream because I like to do it, um, but you don't know what to play, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, it's, it's the age old, like, oh, what do I want to eat for dinner? I don't know. Yeah. I was like, I want just a program that just like randomizes <laughs> whatever game and that's what I play. And, and then like midway through the stream, uh, he sent me a message <laughs> and he made a, a little, little product uh, or wow. like a little uh, program that takes my entire steam library <laughs> and just pulls from it that's amazing and fast turnaround right it was it was like an hour or two later it was bonkers wow so i i, I very much want to play with it i did i did give him a little sass because he um uh, he plays uh resident evil 2 randos a lot oh yeah and and he's he's wanted to race with me before which i definitely want to do i just there's too many games. Oh, yeah. Um, I was like, did you edit this? Because the first game I randomized was Resident <laughs> Evil 2. It was like, it was a little fishy. Funny. It's just very funny RNG. <laughs> It'd be funny in either case, honestly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good joke. Y'all are talented. Y'all are great in general. Gosh. Thank you all for being so lovely. Yeah. Y'all are lovely. Y'all special. We are spoiled. Eh. It is very nice, uh, kind of seeing the difference in like communities and just being like, oh, not ha I don't have to deal with this and, yeah. and like <laughs> some nightmare situations from other people's like. Yeah. It's like oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I do every now and then, like, kind of have that reminder. I was like, wow, we've really lucked into... <laughs> Ooh, oh, I think you dunked them. I think you're right. Oh, thank goodness. Like, we've really lucked into having a whole lot of cool people following us and being cool. Yeah. And, like, I know that, in part, it is the nature of the kind of thing we make. I think, like... Is there a thing up in the middle? I keep on thinking yes, that, and I feel like I... Feel Get out of here. Whoop. Ooh, slick. Yep. Okay. It really, that like there should really be though, right? felt like there was going to be a little a little hidey hole there. <laughs> Game lie to us. <laughs> like, as a creator, what you put into the world, you like, some of that is reflected back at you. So, mm -hmm. like, I think if, like, I, I feel for the people who, like, have sort of like made a brand for themselves out of like hating on stuff because I think that that sort of like negativity and antagonism is if that's part of your brand that's what's going to become kind of integral to your community and is gonna get reflected at you yeah as well uh 
So I know, like, in part because we just generally aren't all that negative and try to be just, like, pretty, like, wholesome and kind and all that sort of stuff, that that's the sort of people who just get drawn to our stuff. And I'm so I'm very grateful for that. But y'all really go above and beyond, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do always hate, too, when it's, like something comes up in a game where it like it it does frustrate me and upset me and i'm like oh yeah it's like i still want to be critical about this and and i'm not enjoying this but i'm i'm upset that i'm not enjoying it like yeah partly i guess too because it's like especially with games it's like the fact that it was made is a miracle in itself oh yeah <laughs> we understand enough to know how <laughs> hard this nonsense is yeah like i was i was just streaming forespoken yesterday and like that is a game that is it is a mess it's not very good mm -hmm. it's not as like it's not the as like huge a disaster as like all the like trash talking around it would probably have you believe mm -hmm. it's not good though and I, that just makes me sad. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for them. I had no, like, hopes up for, for, for Spoken or anything. I was, had no investment. I just feel bad seeing that happen to people who worked on it for a long time. Yeah. Hmm. Can't think of any others at the moment, but I'll keep pondering about it. This is my thinking room. This is, yeah, he's, he's thinking. <laughs> he's working on it. Where are the kids? <laughs> Emmons. Hey. Emmons. <laughs> Can't help but notice you're all alone. <laughs> Where'd you leave him? Keep thinking on it. Uh -huh. Try to remember. Mm -hmm. Can't help but tell you're you're looking in this direction awfully wordly. Like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a sea around here. Somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to call it. And next Ooh. episode, we're going to go down and do a fight. Okay, everyone? We'll see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>